Oh, pretty early. Yeah, I know there's like a few people here, but I think I'm gonna wait a few minutes because uh, I'm starting a little bit early. <clears throat> and usually, you know, people wait a few minutes. I just jump right into it. So, uh, I think I'm gonna give it a few minutes. Before I get started. <clears throat> hey, what's up, Ambrose? What's up, Tiger Shark Diver? Tomorrow's the eclipse, but we're at 90%. Oh, look what I got. I got, I got this thing. What's it? Let me see. How do you guys get covered? All right, the sun is not up, but uh, in theory, when the sun is up, um, you guys will only see the orange dot. I actually tested it, but I might actually return this and use the um, use the I might use the uh, lens because you see how these is crinkled. This is crinkled up. That's why it doesn't really work that well. So when you see the sun, it's actually not orange. It's all messed up. Yeah, I have eclipse glasses. I have a few of them, so I might cut one up to use. Uh, as like you know putting it right here so um, it's not just for safety it's also hard to see the actual eclipse unless you get total totality so you kind of need eclipse glasses to actually see the eclipse too because uh, if the sun is beaming you can't really actually see it um, but uh, yeah the sun is not up right now so for me to use it <clears throat> What is it, two minutes already? I ain't give it like one more minute. What's up music to relax? What's up Lee? What's up Ambrose, Tiger Shark Diver? Ambrose is here. Stephanie and um, uh, Jennifer aren't gonna be here. <clears throat> um, Jennifer wanted to give up WrestleMania to watch me and I said, no, don't do it. I'm always online every day and you know, WrestleMania costs money to watch. So, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. <clears throat> All right. Here's the flagship Fifth Avenue Apple Store. <clears throat> so we'll get started now. Today is um, Sunday, April 7, 7.13 p.m. Eastern Time. Um, so the sun is actually about to set or has set. It is setting because I can still see a glimpse of the sun and it's, what's the temperature? The temperature is 54 degrees Fahrenheit, but it feels like 40 something because of the wind. Um, I think someone else is live too right now. This is billionaires. This is not billionaires, bro. We got one more block to go. So today we'll walk down Midtown. Today's Sunday. So, um, Soho is going to be closed. Chinatown is going to be closed. In the beginning of my streaming journey, I actually went there on Sunday evening and it was a mistake because um, everything's closed. The only thing that has anything going on is really uh, Midtown Manhattan. <laughs> but in terms of the uh, eclipse, the only thing I'm worried about is how, how crowded the streets are going to be because um, I don't know if I showed you guys the clip. Uh, let me show you guys the clip. I'll probably have to show it again when um, more people come. But uh, when I saw this clip, 
I was like, this uh, eclipse is going to be insane. In terms of like the people outside, because there were a lot of people outside. But this clip has the totality, so take that for context. Ours is not going to be the totality. Uh, here it is. Let me uh, make it bigger. Can't make it any bigger. So you see how um, you see how they had the totality. Um, ours is not going to look like that. It's only going to look like that on the path. Um, yeah, I think Jennifer is a big WWE fan. I think there was another situation where she uh, she told me that she can't come. Um, but yeah, Peter is going to go see the entire totality of the uh, eclipse so he's lucky <clears throat> yeah but uh, you see how many people were outside uh, that's what I'm concerned about um, but uh, we'll see what happens tomorrow <laughs> uh, I think I know where I'm gonna start and what I'm gonna do but let's just hope that um, I don't think there's gonna be that many people outside. The streets are pretty open. Oh crap, I was going fast. Um, it's actually a sidewalks I'm worried about. And the Brooklyn Bridge is gonna be crowded as hell. <clears throat> but I was reading that you really have to see 100% to get the to total darkness. Even at 98%, you don't get total darkness. You actually get, um, you actually still see dusk, like kind of like this. You still see the sun light. Hey, what's going on, Austin City Limits? Yeah, for us, the weather will cooperate, but um. For Austin, Texas, uh, I'm not as um, enthusiastic. Well, I don't know. Certain parts of Texas is going to be cloudy, so that's uh, not looking good for them. But hopefully, you know, everything works out. And uh, I think you're going to be at Rochester or Buffalo, so I think you should be okay too. I wore my Eclipse glasses today. I test it out and I saw a uh, orange dot. So um, that's what you're supposed to see, actually. Hey, what's up, Griswold? <clears throat> so we're just gonna do the same standard walk we usually do at Midtown. Um, I was gonna start at Lexington Avenue, but uh, today my schedule is pretty tight because I gotta come back for the eclipse. So most likely. I don't even know if this is copyright. Yeah, it probably is. So, uh... got to be a quick way to mute I have to figure it out probably through the uh, probably through the microphone 
I do it through the phone, so I need to tap like four times. It's not efficient. Burberry. I think they're opening up another Burberry over by next to Louis Vuitton. <clears throat> yeah, copyright and copyright. Now I'm on the copyright thing. If um if you know the music gets too overwhelming in terms of like let's say a parade that plays the music 80% of the parade, I'm just gonna let it be because you know what's the point of me ruining the experience for you guys but uh every chance i get now i'm gonna try but uh i gotta get better at it because uh, it takes a certain skill i think <clears throat> but my plan for tomorrow i don't know if i should tell you guys because <laughs> um i guess i'll tell you guys later on somewhere within the stream. <clears throat> you know, evening walks are gonna be a lot harder in the summer because um, the sun sets at 8 p.m. So if the sun sets at 8 p.m., um, I gotta start the, I gotta start kind of like at 8.30 for it to be fully dark. So, uh, yep. That might have to be, uh, that might have to be reserved for the weekend. You want an authentic and wide slice of pizza? Most of the pizza here is New York pizza, I think, I would say, because I think we take it for granted until we go somewhere else, and we're like, yo, what is this? Is this even pizza? At least uh, winter is on its exit. Winter is on its last legs, but it seems to want to keep fighting and uh, not go away, but hopefully a few more weeks. Um, no specific recommendations from me. There's Joe's Pizza, which is like really popular because of Spider-Man, but in my opinion, only my opinion, I do think it's overhyped. Because the one time I, had it with my friends and I didn't even know the significance of it so I had no bias and it just tasted like every other New York City pizza to me um, because I feel like once you have the bias and the context you'll have a different opinion um, but Jennifer and Stephanie they had some recommendations but for the most part if you go to almost any pizza store in New York. Maybe not the 99 cents, but um, but most of them will taste a lot different from the pizza where you have it. Oh, right. Nobody crossed me. I'm not sure why, but I'm going to cross because uh, I know how to do this. Yeah, no problem, T Jr. Just uh, doing my thing. Look, it's mowing in Midtown Manhattan. Midtown mowing in Midtown Manhattan. What a quinky dink. <laughs> I mean, I did say I was going to come here, so it's not a uh, quinky dink. 
it's um everything else is closed everywhere else everywhere else is boring too and con edison has these cones and it gets confusing on where you can walk what is happening right now <laughs> Little Italy pizza is the best value. I, w I would have to agree, not because uh, I experienced it, but based on the fact that Little Italy would have a lot of competition in terms of the stores. If there's a lot of pizza stores, they have to compete in terms of pricing, so uh, it, makes, it makes sense. St. Patrick's Cathedral. Yeah, we always pass, almost every single day. There's people here in NJ who say they love a certain hot dog place. I'm not even sure they've been even been there. <laughs> Remember when I said the whole mob mentality where something is popular or there's a long line, people just go to it and it's like a domino effect. It might not even be that good. <clears throat> That's why you need confirmation. And there's things that are underrated. Uh, like, you might find a YouTube channel with not a lot of subscribers, but they have really quality content. Let me get a nice aerial shot here, first person perspective. Hey, what's going on, Soli Ann, the first moderator ever? So Ian asked to be a moderator and I was I had no idea what to say. I was like, give me your email and I'll email you. <laughs> I, was like, I had no idea what I was saying. <clears throat> St. Patrick's Cathedral. This thing over here that gets no love, no pictures, nothing. People just ignore it. Um, yeah. I mean, I'm just telling you the truth. Everybody likes to be around here. Uh, as you can see, but ain't nobody care about Atlas. All right. <clears throat> yeah, I was like, I was like, I thought being a mod was serious. I was like, I thought you had to sign an application and go through an interview process. I was like, yo, this is serious. But uh, it's really not that serious. <laughs> Radio City usually called Midtown Manhattan, Fifth Avenue, where all the tourists hang out. And you can tell they're tourists because uh, I told you why, if you remember. The behavioral traits of a tourist. The windows are boring today in Saks. <clears throat> Yeah, you're right. Since Atlas is holding up the world, we don't want to disturb him anyway. You're right. Oh, I got two seconds. One second. Run! Oh, oh, the bike almost hit me. Oh, that guy's like, all right. Oh, the girls who play violin. And a lot of tourists. But they stopped playing the violin. They're usually around here. Uh, I don't know how often, but they do come around here. Uh, I think they have their socials there. Let me try to zoom in. Um, I got a freaking notification. Get this notification out. I gotta put do not disturb. Sorry, go ahead. All oh, right, no, we lost the game because a whole bunch of toys came. <laughs> Let's see, let's wait for the red light. I want to zoom in. Zoom in, I don't want to get close and it'll get a little weird. Yep, so you see their at, that's, uh, that's their social.
they're always here. Um, not always, they're not always here. What am I saying? They're here sometimes. I don't think they have like a set schedule, but you'll see them around here next to Rockefeller Center. Tourist, Rockefeller tourist. Whoa. I don't know what a kid would think when he sees this. He'll be like, uh, why did they make it like this? <laughs> and the parents will be like, um, it's art, son. <clears throat> do they all look the same? I think they're all the same. Let's do an analysis of the statues. That's too much work. Oh no, wait. Yeah, they're all the same statue. Oh no, that guy's holding something up. What is this guy holding up, a horn? Yep, a shell. And he's uh, doing his thing. This guy looks like he's ready to spear something. This guy is looking the other way. A conch shell, right? That's the, uh, I think I've heard of that before. It sounds familiar. It's one of those things where, uh, I don't know. I'll probably get it wrong, but in the uh, caveman times or something where they would call out when there's danger. I'm probably way off. Yeah, they have these decorations for um, for spring and Easter. Well, I think they took the Easter stuff out. Now it's just the spring stuff. But um, it seems like I think they're waiting for uh, warmer weather to put stuff on this, maybe, because it doesn't make sense right now. I would have to assume that. So maybe when the weather consistently is warm, they're gonna do something here. Or are they supposed to bloom? Uh, we'll see. We will see. Because uh, artificial or real? I think this is real. All right, let's go to Rockefeller Center where uh, the ice rink is gone. What about this thing? Is this thing blooming? No. The one with the spear might be Neptune, God of Sea. Possibly. I didn't look for the uh, description, but that's a uh, good assumption. All right, we got a whole bunch of music playing here. Yeah, I had to put some relaxing music because, um, I don't know, sometimes I see other people put some, I'm like, damn, yo, 
This hurts my ears. <laughs> um, but yeah. Hey, what's up, Adopt the Pitbull? Uh, yeah, I think um, oh, you, I'm right about that. Yeah, the conch. <laughs> <clears throat> Oh crap. All right, we're good. I thought my chat went away. That would have been weird. Today, probably no Adil. I don't know, Adil is confusing. Sometimes they're here on Sunday, sometimes they're not. It's like whenever they feel like it. They're like, today we feel like it. I have a feeling today they'll feel like it. What's up, Charlotte? Call me Charlotte X. Hey, what's up, Kev? What street am I on? I keep walking this street and I don't even know. Definitely 40 something street. I'm right next to Rockefeller Center, right in front of Radio City Music Hall. I'll find out for you in the corner. It's 40 something. <clears throat> I'm transitioning into 6th Avenue. Conk, not conch, it sounds like. Oh, I see. Hey, what's up, sunshine after rain? <clears throat> yeah, I like the video. Subscribe to the channel. When you like the video, you give me a chance to be put on the map with all the other big walkers. And try to suck up that audience <laughs> but um yeah I don't really like to beg for likes because when I eventually when I have to self-analyze myself my cadence and the way I talk which I still haven't done to get better um I'm gonna cringe way worse if I'm begging for likes <clears throat> But uh, I would just hope that um, the content speaks for itself. And even if you do get enough likes, your content still has to hold up when those new viewers see. But uh, it's hard, you know, because not every live is gonna be a, a banger. And I guess I wanna explain the term banger for uh, a lot of older folks listening to this. I guess it's a slang, usually like really good music but it can also mean like high quality, very high quality. So a banger video would be like something really, really good, like that uh, crazy rain walk I did. <clears throat> but I think uh, most of the summer walks will be high quality because uh, I don't want to hype it up too much, but it should be in theory because people are more wild in the summer. Yeah, but like, I don't want some other people. I mean, I see other people out there. They're always like, come on, we got this. It just uh, comes across weird, at least to me, you know. But I do say it every now and then, I ask. Well, I've never seen this before. How much is it? Does he have the prices? Please tell me this guy has the prices. He's the good guy here. No, no prices. Still no prices. No prices. No prices. He ain't got no prices out here. That's crazy, homie. There's no prices. As Ambrose said, bangers are sausages along with mash. Potatoes. Oh, Ambrose said that? Yeah, I think bangers can have multiple meanings. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to. Uh, Excuse me, do you mind taking a picture? You want to take a picture? Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Uh, okay. 
Uh, Alright, ready? Uh, I took uh, five of them. Thank you. Another good shot would be like at that corner to Radio City. Because yeah. the fountain and Radio City will look good. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so no much. problem. Have a good one. Alright, let's go to uh, Times Square. I'm not gonna go this way because it seems to be um, it seems to be always connection problems and I seem to not learn my lesson. Uh, we will go more south and the street I'm on is West 49th Street. 49th Street for short. The whole West East thing confuses me. It's only somewhat relevant. Oh, Adils felt like coming today. Whoa, the line is good, right? Oh no, the line is too much. Never mind. The line is way too much. Gee, man, I don't think I'm ever gonna get Adils again. I lost my chance. The best time to get a dills is in the cold. In terms of the line, in terms of the line, the best time is to get it when it's cold. Uh, now it's pretty much a wrap. I was like contemplating when the line would be right here, whether, I, hey, what's up? Whether I should, you know, wait or not. Now look where the line is, it's all the way up there. Holy crap, I think it's wrapping around. I think this is the first time we saw the line wrap around. Damn, look, they got the barricade there too. I don't want to get too close because that guy got uh, his music blasting. Holy crap, too much music over there. Look at that, hold on. I'm about to do it right now. <clears throat> Maybe we should stop promoting a deals. A jail sucks, guys. Don't get it. <laughs> Don't get it, Dills. It's not. It's not good. Too many calories. You're gonna get. You're gonna get extra weight. <clears throat> All right. Let's uh. Let's keep going. Uh, 65 degrees must be uh, real cold for you in California, Los Angeles, because uh, 60 degrees, anything below 60, I've heard is way too cold. Oh look, the diamond district. Should we go there? I, mean, I, don't, I can't remember. I can't remember if I've been there. I might have been there a few times. The queue is for uh, Dills. It's a really good halal. It's nine dollars. It's filling because. Um, what fills me up is about 1,100 calories, and I can like barely finish it. So I have to guess it's a little over that, maybe like 1,200 calories. Um, so yeah, it's a uh, it's a full meal, nine dollars, but no soda. They don't give you soda. <clears throat> the ones in Queens, they're cheaper, and they give you soda. The, Maybe like a dollar cheap, cheaper and they give you a uh, soda. Well, oh, Diamond District is closed. Yeah, there's no point in going. I forgot it's Sunday. Since it's Sunday, you see how almost everything is closed? 
it just wouldn't make any sense to see because uh, even the gates are closed too, so you can't really see much. All right, let's go to Times Square. <clears throat> I don't know how long this stream is going to be. It might be a short stream. <clears throat> the ice rink is here. The ice rink is gone, so we can't really hang around there. The lawn is not ready. Hypothetically, if it was summer and they had movie night and there were people around, maybe we could hang around there a little bit, but uh, there's not a lot of places to hang around in Midtown. But this is where the people are on Sunday evening. It's 13 degrees Celsius in case for the people who use that metric system. Hey, William, no problem. I'm gonna keep doing my thing as long as uh, I keep growing. And uh, <clears throat> like I said before, when I regularly get 200, 300 viewers, there's a low chance of me ever quitting. When I get 400, 500 uh, viewers regularly, there's a very low chance of me ever quitting. But uh, we'll see what happens. <laughs> What's up, Ethan? Although a lot of people took the bikes. If you don't return it, I think it's over a thousand dollar fine. And uh, yeah, I have to look it up. I think they charge you every day and then eventually they charge you a big fee. <clears throat> I think one of the Hyatt hotels that someone asked yesterday is at 36th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue. Uh, there's a few of them actually. Yep, partial eclipse, 90%, but to be accurate, 88 or 89% something. But um, I have a filter with me, so we'll see how it works. I have, a, I have this thing. So uh, hopefully uh, tomorrow you guys get to see it through the lens also. I'll keep, I'll do this and this. So you guys can see the orange um, sun and the moon eclipsing over it. We only get 90%. Uh, but Rochester, if you look at the eclipse map, 2024 eclipse map, if you Google it, uh, in New York, it's going to be Rochester, Buffalo, I think parts of Syracuse. Uh, but it goes through a big strip of land in the United States and it passes through a lot of states. Oh no, it's not. It's just like wearing the glasses. You know when you wear the glasses uh, and you see the, um, the orange dot? Uh, that's what you're gonna see. You're gonna see the orange, orange dot. I mean, they say it's to protect your phone. I don't know, does the phone really need protection from that? Uh, I, I do think it's also the experience in terms of uh, having the glasses, because if you don't have the glasses, you're gonna, like, first of all, priority is you're gonna damage your eyes, that's the first thing. Not only that, you're really not gonna see the eclipse that well, because you're gonna see a big shiny ball, and it's really gonna be hard to see the moon eclipsing the sun. Like, with your bare eyes. I think it'll look better on the, um, on the, glasses because you actually see the sun like you see the circle of the sun what is that called the corona <clears throat> because 
You see the outer atmosphere with your blind eye. Here we are in Times Square for uh, 650,221st time. But uh, it'll be 222nd. Not tomorrow. Definitely not tomorrow. Another day. Tomorrow uh, I'm not coming here. Whoa, whoa. They're not really playing that much music. Someone is uh, trying to break dance, which a normal tourist is trying to break dance. Oh no, she's just doing a cartwheel. The stairs are open. The guy got the snake. He doesn't like when I do live. So let me just zoom into him. I don't know if it's the same guy. He looks like a different guy. Oh, it's a boa constrictor, right? You guys said not a python. I still didn't check. I didn't Google the difference. I forgot. I guess the, uh, if I had to make an educated guess, bow constrictor chokes you out but doesn't eat you. The python eats you if you if you fit. Hey, what's up, DC White? Wowzers. We're gonna ruin everybody's picture. Let's ruin everybody's picture, guys. <laughs> No, I'm not a menace. I'm not a menace to society. I don't know if you see those IRO streamers. They're like menaces to society. I saw one kid, he's like 10 years old. He started IRL streaming, which is different kind of from us. It's very similar. But what he did was uh, he was walking and he took he took pe people's french fries while they were eating and he ate it. And then a lady came up to him, pissed off, like about to beat him up. Some people. And when the lady confronted him, the kid was acting, so what, so what? You gonna punch me in the face? That's, that's what the kid was saying to the lady. And I feel like the kid is using his age to his advantage because uh, he knows that, that they're not gonna hurt him, he's a minor. That's like a really tricky situation. <laughs> okay. All right. Some people just uh, sitting up here doing their thing. <laughs> It's hard to get a nice picture here because your background isn't uh, as expansive. <clears throat> Let's see what's going on there because we got the zoom advantage. What is he about to do? Turn Super Saiyan? Any second, right? Oh, that's what he's doing. Of course, that's what he's going to do. Oh, that's a tourist. Oh, yeah, that's what they do. I forgot. All right, let's keep going. They're going to take too long in the next. <clears throat> yeah, Sunday evenings are always uh, nuts. Hey, what's up, Christian, Han Christian Hansen? Who turned out the lights in the sky? My son is just about going down. Really? All right, let's let's uh, let's keep moving. Um, I think our son went out. So uh, I'm not sure if you're from New York, but it's pretty close. OK, sorry, sorry. All right. Everybody has made a 
several thousand miles journey to be here. So that's why they are trying to take it in. Everybody is in awe. Look at everybody's faces. No, Christian, they're waiting for me to turn into Spider-Man and web swing up there. And they're like, who is that? I can't believe Spider-Man is real. You gonna get him in the shot? <laughs> All the Spider-Man here are broken. They're bootleg versions. None of them web swing, none of them web crawl. I should ask them one day, like, do you, ever, do you, do you web crawl or do you web swing? Because uh, I've never seen you actually do it. Oh, I messed up their picture. Crap. I'm messing up everybody's picture. That's just part of the game here. There's no way to avoid it. Every tourist is messing up the other tourist's picture. That's just the way it is here. We were walking spider webs. And sometimes I wish I was Spider-Man. You know, for the walking channel, because uh, I'm in Dumbo, right? I'm looking at the Brooklyn Bridge like, hey guys, this is the Brooklyn Bridge. And then I go up uh, to the uh, Brooklyn Bridge. And I'm like, all right, I'm on the Brooklyn Bridge, guys. And then I, I, I swing back down to Dumbo. Wait, what happened? What happened? What did Ambrose say? That's not an eclipse, it's nighttime. Okay. All right. <clears throat> yeah, it looks better with the glasses. It looks better with the glasses. And uh, it's also safety. Oh my gosh, we got this guy with the music and no customers and people sitting down and the freaking King Kong guy. Oh shoot, that guy's gonna get killed. Hey, look at this guy. <laughs> That's a tour bus. But why do you stop moving? Oh, it's because of this guy. Sheesh. That guy is making it hard for him to do anything. He gave up. You wore two sunglasses? I don't know if that's enough, man. You might still get messed up in the eyes. You need the glasses. <laughs> I think the library has them for free, but they're probably gone by now. Whoa, whoa. The irony of me being right next to the T-Mobile store and uh, losing connection and buffering, because this is T-Mobile. You know, I've actually lost connection here, so there is irony to that. Yeah, I usually don't see homeless people here. Yeah, just, uh, just be careful because um, You don't want to lose your vision. $10 super chat, 
Thanks for the walk. I'll be visiting again next month. It never gets old. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, uh, whenever I leave New York City, it's always like, I feel like nothing really compares. It has a distinct atmosphere that I can't really uh, describe. I think it's the diversity. I think that is what it is. The and also, New York architecture is very diverse too. When you think about it, like a lot of neighborhoods have different different architecture. We here just crowded up. I don't know. All right, let's keep going, guys. Let's keep going. I'm going to lose connection. Also, there's something else that I learned, too, that I didn't know. Although, I'll tell you guys when I get at Times Square, because it's hard for me to actually formulate and express my thoughts here, because uh, there's a whole bunch of people, uh, and it feels weird, and uh, I don't think this Spider-Man works, like I told you guys. Okay, we're gonna cross into uh, Sixth Avenue. This is East. The ticketing stairs face south, so I'm facing the opposite of the ticketing stairs. So this is North, and then East, the avenues go down. Times Square is on Seventh Avenue. I'm going East. We're gonna go to Sixth Avenue. Sixth Avenue is uh, really crowded too. Oh, there's that guy. That guy is uh, preaching religion. You're not looking at nothing, Scott. That's a uh, NASA's live streaming it. So uh, NASA's live streaming it, so you can watch there. You would think I wouldn't tell you that because I'm gonna live stream New York City. But there's always going to be replays for everything, so there's that too. Yeah, it's really not that serious in terms of uh, NASA. They're going to do the replay because they'll just they'll probably just give you the um, the sun eclipse. I'm going to give you a walk and the sun eclipse. to this side street with the amount of people here. Hey, 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 what's up with these uh, food carts and their music? They're blasting music. They, they usually don't do that. They like you know, uh, you know what we're doing. That has to be it. <clears throat> Anyways, yeah. So yesterday I was looking at a YouTube channel and an optometrist, whatever, the eye guy, eye doctor. He said that when there's a full totality, the rays still go through the moon. So even though the sun is not beaming, when you're looking at the sun, the sun rays are going through the moon as though you were looking at it. So that's why people start losing their vision. Because when you're looking at the eclipse, even though it's not as bright as it originally is, you are still looking at the sun as if there was no eclipse. Because if you were looking at the sun, when there's no eclipse, you'd feel pain and then you'd stop looking at the sun. Uh, but when there's the eclipse, it gives you the illusion that it's okay to look when in actuality it's not because the UV rays still go through the moon. But this is where I get confused because there are some news that say during totality, you can take off the glasses and look, but um, I'm not sure.
So just be careful tomorrow. <laughs> just uh, try not to look too much. Maybe look, okay, this is not advice or anything, so I'm not responsible. Um, maybe I would think to look for like five seconds and then put back the glasses. <clears throat> In other words, when there's the eclipse, it says though you're still looking at the sun when it's at its full strength because the rays are still going through the moon. That's the short answer. So your brain and eyes uh, think that it's okay to look because it's not as bright and you don't feel the same amount of pain as you would when it's really bright. Alright, we're in uh, 6th Avenue, and uh, yeah, Times Square is uh, always really busy. Like, Times Square is not a, uh, Times Square, 5th Avenue, and 6th Avenue are not a good idea of how busy the city is. They're usually the most busiest avenues, and Times Square is the busiest. And then as you go to the other avenue, it starts dwindling down. You can at totality where you see the white ring, but only for a few seconds. Most will only see a crescent sun, so do not look without the proper solar glasses <clears throat> yeah be careful tomorrow just remember that uh, even with the eclipse it seems like the sun is it turns dusk it seems like you can look but uh, it's still at full strength because regularly when you look at the sun you'll naturally look away because uh, it hurts, obviously, but the eclipse tricks you. Yeah, I mean, I think when people say the totality, yeah, that's the time to look at it for a few seconds. That makes sense. But uh, we're not gonna get totality. I think our totality, it's going to be like dusk. dusk. <clears throat> Not total darkness. Like this. Oh, that's that the music. Is the Empire State Building red today? Why? Just for fun. There's probably a reason, because the signature color for the Empire State Building based on uh, my experience has always been that golden color, but it's probably red for a reason. I'm not sure why. Right. That guy came running fast, but luckily I tried, talked over it and I got a mic. Dizzy. The next eclipse will be in 40 years. See, this is where I get confused. There are some stalls that say the next eclipse is at 2079, but when you Google it, it's 2044. So what if they're just trying to skip it and market it and try to get you to buy as soon as possible by just misleading you? and telling you that it's 2079, when in actuality the next one is 2044. Uh, because 2079, may, it'll make people think like, oh, I'm not gonna be alive. So let me just buy these glasses.
but when I've also researched a little bit about eclipse, they happen more often, but they don't always happen in landmass. Like, like right now, it's happening like across a lot of land. If you look at the 2024 eclipse, uh, it's happening throughout a lot of states and even South America, I think, and parts of Canada. Oh, in honor of South Carolina winning women's NCAA basketball Empire State Building. Oh, I didn't know that. So uh, we're going to go to Bryant Park and see what's up. But nothing's probably up because um, the lawn is really meant for the warm weather and it's still kind of cold. I think all the pedicabs and everything is blasting the music way louder because the weather is starting to get a little bit warm. So I'm actually afraid of the summer, how much they're gonna blast it. Kids are playing. <clears throat> yeah, but um, I think the next one in the U.S. is 2044 according to Google. But if I were to buy an Eclipse at a random stall, they have something that says the next one is at 2079, which I, I, I feel like they're doing that on purpose. So you'll buy it. You just skip the fact that it's 2044. But you guys can correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but I think it's 2044 in the United States. If you smell like patchouli oil or look like a hipster, they generally leave you alone. I mean, the encroachers. Are you talking about, uh, I don't know what you're talking about, Christian. <laughs> Are you talking about the weirdos? Here is the Bank of America Tower, which sponsors the Winter Village that opens on October 28th every year. And we still can get on the lawn. There's one Vanderbilt. <coughs> Tomorrow I've done the route before and the time I start is pretty much similar to all the other times I've started all my other lives. I've only started in the evening and like a certain time in the afternoon. Um, I know I'm being vague but <laughs> I'm still a small channel but I guess it shouldn't really matter. So what I'm gonna do is, um, I think I'm gonna start at the Brooklyn Heights Promenade around the beginning of the uh, eclipse. And then I'm going to uh, make my way through the pier of Dumbo, like I did before, go through the Brooklyn Bridge. But instead of going to the lower Manhattan, I go to the pier uh, over there and by then, the whole eclipse should have happened. Uh, I guess the only worry I have is that I'm gonna lose connection in the Brooklyn Bridge. And as I'm going through the Brooklyn Bridge, I'm gonna, you know, put the, put the um, filter up. I'm gonna put the filter up so you guys can see the eclipse progressing. The eclipse is gonna take two, from two o'clock to about 3.30. And I think uh, at two something or three something, that's when the full I have to see when the totality is, the 90% totality. <clears throat> I think it's two something. No, no, no. Two is when it starts. 
So in theory, it should be around between 2.30 and 3.15. Wait, let me see. Oh, strange visitors during the eclipse. <clears throat> All right, let's get out of Bryant Park. Tourists, tourists taking pictures and running away. What's up? Hey, what's up? They uh, they waved their hand too late. You guys didn't see it. All right, I'll do it for you, Jeff. My name's Jeff. Hello, Lori. Is that uh? Hopefully, that was sufficient. <laughs> Oh no. Uh no, never mind. That's some uh, political thing. You know, at this point, if you get Eclipse glasses, they'll probably be way overcharged. I wonder if uh, Amazon is going to get a whole bunch of returns the day after. That would be messed up. Because what more use do you have for those Eclipse glasses besides the Eclipse? Like after that, uh, that's it. You don't really need them anymore. Yeah, I think this is the, uh, what is it, the Bank of China? It says Bank of China. Yeah, it's a cool looking building. That's what I like about New York. It's also the diversity of architecture and sidewalks that make it really distinct. <clears throat> it's like the stuff I guess uh, I take for granted, but you know, when I come back here, I guess I notice it. It's more of a feeling, but I should try to be more self-aware and figure out why. Yeah, there's also some companies selling fake glasses. You gotta be careful. Um, Nassau has an approved list. I got Medical King from Amazon and they are on the list. And um, they do work because I tested it today when I got it. I saw a big orange globe through the glasses. And that's what you're supposed to see. If I were to put this up right now, you shouldn't be able to see anything. This is also from Medical King. You shouldn't be able to see anything. Oh, you see that little tiny dot? That's bright. If, hypothetically, if that was the sun, you would see the sun uh, glowing. But uh, we are not, the sun is not up. Let me try this thing, I wanna see. I don't think I put this right. Did I put it the right way? <clears throat> this is also for Medical King, but um, and it's on the NASA approved. The glasses are approved, 
but uh, I'm not sure about this phone filter. It should be using the same technology yeah. as the uh, glasses. Hey, what's up, Steve Boyd? What do I sound like? It's Christopher's buddy on Sopranos. I have to go uh, YouTube that. Yeah, you should only be able to see the big globe, the sun. That's all you should be able to see. With my glasses, that's what I see. But this thing, uh, I'm not sure why I'm seeing light. This is not the glasses, this is for the iPhone. So you guys see the big orange globe. And the moon eclipsing through it tomorrow. How much time is remaining? It starts around two something tomorrow. Here. And it goes uh, up until 3.30. So slowly the moon will eclipse. And I think somewhere between two and 3.15 is when the 90% happens. And uh, it should look like dusk as though sunrise or sunset is happening because we're not in totality so uh, it's not going to be total darkness. If you want total darkness, at least in New York, you have to go to Rochester. You have to go to Rochester or um, Buffalo. If you're talking about the time from now till the uh, eclipse, what is it? That's, what time is it? It's 8.22. So 12 hours plus 6. About 18 hours from now. <laughs> well, it's pretty nice outside, but these people might be sitting outside because uh, there's no seats inside. Oh, there are seats inside, so I guess because um, before I, it was really cold and I was wondering why people were sitting outside and it's because there were no seats inside. <laughs> yeah, Niagara Falls is also really nice too. I think Peter is going to Rochester or Buffalo or one of them. He's going to see the totality. <clears throat> if I knew a little more about it, I probably would have, but it's kind of last minute. Then I, you know, I did more research a few days ago, well, yesterday, and I realized that like you really need totality for it to be dark. Like 98% is not going to cut it. You will still see um, sunlight. And also, totality is when you see that thing I showed you guys. You know, we got a lot more people here, so let me play that clip again. Totality, this is totality. Let me show you guys. Get, get ready. So that's uh, totality. Hopefully you guys, I don't know if it lets you hear the uh, 
if it lets you hear the audio because now I'm using a microphone so I'm not sure if it if you hear the audio of the uh, video but um that's uh, totality The only thing is that hopefully you heard the audio, but on the audio uh, you hear like people screaming, a whole bunch of people on the streets, and that's what made me realize that uh, I gotta be careful in terms of the crowd, because the streets are gonna be crowded, because everybody's gonna want to look at the uh, eclipse. So you'll see a whole bunch of people hypothetically here uh, just looking up, you know? So um, hopefully I don't get stuck on the uh, Brooklyn Bridge or somewhere but uh, we'll see tomorrow that was the first thing I thought of when I heard the audio I was like yo you see how many people there are the sound of everybody that's gonna be a problem everybody these big buildings everybody's gonna come out well some people will see through their windows but if you can't see the Sun they're gonna come out or they'll at the minimum go to the roof. Here we are at Macy's Herald Square where there's no tables yet, hopefully soon. Um, I don't know, it's so random. Sometimes they have tables, sometimes they don't. Probably, there's, there's probably no method to it. There's just when they feel like. Yeah, also, during the eclipse, um, schools are closed because I guess uh, the eclipse is going to happen around the time kids are dismissing from school, so they want to be careful and not, you know, have the, have a hassle for kids to get home during, um, during packed streets or parents picking them up. Yeah, some will look, and based on my research, uh, there's no uh, there's no cure. There's no fixing the damage that's going to be done. So uh, be careful. I, I mean, you can look. This is not advice. You do what you do. You're responsible for your own eyes. But I think you can only look in like very small increments, like you know, like five seconds, then back on with the glasses. And then later on, five seconds, ten seconds, and back on with the glasses. Sorry, sorry. If you don't have solar glasses, poke a hole in a piece of thin cardboard with a pencil, point out, put a paper on the ground, and let the sun shine through the hole and reflect on the paper. Yeah, Peter's right. There's also a paper method. Maybe uh, if I had to guess, the search term would be uh, paper method, solar eclipse method. Yeah, paper method, solar eclipse on YouTube. It's probably a tutorial for it. Uh, but yeah, there is also that method, which is the last resort. You should ideally get glasses. Oh yeah. Or look at that. All right, let's keep going, guys. I don't think you'll see the uh, may I don't think you'll see it in any major observatory in New York City because uh, the totality doesn't hit New York City.
you'd have to go to uh, the, the places where it's at 100% totality, or I think it's 99.9 .9 something. Sorry, go ahead. So many choices. Yeah, I think if you go on Google and you put 2024 solar eclipse map, you will see the uh, the percentages and uh, places where they get what percentages they get. Certain parts of Texas are getting totality. Yeah, Buffalo Observatory. I don't think it will be productive for me to go in the observatory because you guys will be bored at me looking at the sun all day. So it will be a combination of me walking and looking at the sun, right? So I'm going to be walking. You're going to see the people looking up with their glasses and walking through the, some major parts of New York City. And then I'm going to look up and I'm going to put the filter. So that's the plan. So we'll see how it goes. <clears throat> What's up, Steve? Uh, my parents uh, gave me that name. I think it's an Islamic name, but, you know, and I think it's pronounced Moin, but I tried to Americanize it into Moen. Um, but, uh, yeah. And technically, you could change your name, but that would not be right because your parents really thought hard to give you that name. Yeah, if you don't have the Eclipse glasses, it's better to watch it on uh, YouTube. Uh, but if you could get your hands on it. Um, yeah, the Eclipse glasses is not just for safety. I think it's also a better experience. Because you see the actual Eclipse more clearly, in my opinion. Like the video guys, subscribe if you want to see more New York City walking content and I'm going to be here 2 p.m. tomorrow to uh, do the uh, Eclipse walk. So not here but I told you guys where I'm going to be. <clears throat> I might even start at 1.45. Tomorrow might be a long stream. I'm probably gonna end a little after uh, totality and see people's reactions and try to film that too. Well, we don't have totality. Our totality is 90%, so. So, and I will not put totality on the title because that's misleading. We're at uh, 32nd Street, Koreatown. Over here is the uh, Penn Station. If you want to come here next to Macy's, it's the um, BDFNQRW train. And the... Uh, I forgot what I was gonna say. 90% is all right. I thought it was good until I did more research and I'm like, 90% is all right, you know? But I think the next one, statistically I should make it based on life expectancy. 
I will try to see totality. Wherever it happens. Because <clears throat> even at 98%, you still see uh, light. All right, let's go through Korea Town. This is Korea Way, West 32nd Street. I always go here. But uh, we'll walk down Fifth Avenue, so yeah. I gotta pick a sidewalk. I will pick the left sidewalk. Let's go through the left sidewalk. I'm not gonna do a back and forth this time. Um, Steve, um, yeah, in Koreatown, it's, it's between 5th and 6th Avenue, and it's almost always busy. It's a lot more crazier on the weekend and, um, nice warm weather, but Sundays in general, oh, sorry about that, is that one that we, Sundays in general is pretty, uh, pretty busy. The factors that play into it is how cold it is. So the colder it is, the less people are out, and whether it's the weekend. Um, you'll see me more in Midtown during the cold weather because that's where all the people are. But as the weather gets warmer, I'll try to venture out into other neighborhoods because uh, they're gonna come alive soon. But like I said, this is Koreatown, 5th Avenue, uh, between 5th, 6th Avenue and 32nd Street. And it's almost always lively, especially on a weekend. I don't think I've ever came here and it wasn't lively. The thing is, it's always been lively. It never fails. Yeah, I'm wearing a sweater. Um, I don't know how I'm doing well. Maybe it's the adrenaline, adrenaline from doing the live stream, but um, it's all good right now. Oh, they don't got the prices. I hope they they become like Chinatown and they put the prices outside. That's so cool. I didn't know that Chinatown did that. I found that out. Yesterday, oh, they do have it right there, but. Let me see if I can zoom in. Also in Koreatown, you'll see a lot of garbage because they're restaurants and they have to throw out food. There are a lot of restaurants and places to eat here. There were times when I was the only person on the block. It was also around 20 degrees. Yeah, the streets are dead January, February. And in the holidays, even then, you can only really hang out in Midtown because all the neighborhoods pretty much die out in the uh, winter, even on the holidays. And people only come to Midtown for the uh, holiday decorations. So then you'll see all the walkers back in Midtown as soon as the uh, cold weather starts because uh, all the neighborhoods pretty much become ghost towns. Hey, what's up, Nick Johnson? Oh, this time I am not going on both sidewalks. I'm just going on this sidewalk. We're at Fifth Avenue right now, 32nd Street. I'm gonna make a right south to the left of me is the Empire State Building. 
I'll give you a nice shot of it as I cross the street. I think I'm going to go to sleep for like 10, 11 hours today. I feel like it tonight. <laughs> I feel like that's what's going to happen. <clears throat> you know, YouTube is like, you should start memberships. And uh, I see the member stuff and I feel like it's not, I feel like you. I want to get, I want to have you guys get your money's worth. Oh, they're gonna cross. Because emojis and all that, I feel like that's not enough. I don't know, I was thinking about having a second cell phone plan so you guys to text text me. But then what happens if you leave the membership and I block you? It's like is it is that it's just business man. I don't know. I'll have to figure that out. Tomorrow is going to be close to 70. Really? As a kid, it took me a long time to want understand the concept of one-way streets. I'm not sure why. It also took me a long time to understand the concept of change. Because I would see people get money back and I'm like, what the hell is going on? You're giving him money and he's giving you money back? I don't understand any of this. How do you know when you get change back? <laughs> Yeah, so as we go past uh, Koreatown, down 5th Avenue, it's going to get a lot quieter. So for perspective, I know people might say you're always in Midtown. You see how quiet it gets here? And this is 5th Avenue. Can you imagine what the other avenues are, let alone the other neighborhoods in uh, Queens and Brooklyn? It gets way more quieter. I also visited Times Square on 17 degrees night. There were performers without shirts on. Yeah, that's nuts. I think if you go and see my, uh, one of my snow walks, live streams, um, the naked cowboy was outside in 20 degree weather. But uh, I think he kept alternating with the cowgirl and um, he went inside because you know, you'd catch hyperthermia and then um, it would be game over. Hey, what's up, Frank T? We got a Frank in the stream. Sometimes there's so many Franks, I'm like, yo, what's up with all these Franks? Is this the building that blocks the Empire State Building? Everybody keeps saying that. I think it is the building. This is the building that blocks the view of the Empire State Building from the Flat Iron District. I hope this building is worth it. We are having an Eclipse Eve party. Yeah, I think I talked a lot about the Eclipse this stream, which makes sense because that's what I titled it. <clears throat> 
Whoa, that guy is not stop. He almost killed us. <laughs> the guy and his motorbike. So, I know you guys see this scaffolding a lot. You'll only see this really in 5th Avenue. I think in Upper West Side, when I was there, the scaffolding was pretty much the same in Queens. Just the green one, generic green one. But it seems like in Manhattan, in 5th and 6th Avenue, they have very uh, fancy scaffolding. Yeah, can you, uh, that really sucks, you know, if uh, in Texas the weather does not cooperate for you guys because um, an eclipse doesn't happen often. So it would be really unfortunate for you not to be able to see it effectively. You know, if we go to a Union Square now, I think there's like a place where a whole bunch of rats hang out. Uh, let me scope that place out first, and one day we'll go at night. But, yeah. Sunshine after rain, happy Eclipse Eve. Tomorrow I'll say happy Eclipse Day. <laughs> Happy Eclipse Day, everybody. We're not in me tell me head anymore. Austin, Texas. I, I assume that's what ATX stands for. Everything must be cheap over there. Relatively, compared to us. Also, the portion sizes must be huge. That's what I've heard about Texas. Everything big. The hamburgers are big. The portion sizes are big. Man, look at this narrow ass scaffold. lights here. Construction going on. Some might argue that the scaffolding and construction adds character to New York City, which I would agree if it was minimal, but if it's like every single block, it gets real annoying. Tomorrow is kind of a holiday. School's, school's out, I think, for every school in New York City. Um, because the eclipse happens around dismissal, and I don't think they want, um, I don't think they want kids to get lost in all the uh, chaos that happens on the streets. So I think they're trying to be careful of that. And I see news where just don't even let your kids watch the clips so they don't damage your eye, their eyes. Because uh, can you really trust them to keep the clips glasses on? And uh, that damage is permanent.
Madison Square Park is dope. So this is the flat iron building. And uh, where is it? Yup, see that thing is blocking the view of the Empire State Building. Whatever building that is. Next time I'll go read the thing to see what kind of building that is. Whether it's commercial or residential. <clears throat> also over here, Broadway actually I think crosses a few parks, Madison Square Park, Greenlee Square Park, Harold Square. I don't think it crosses Washington Square Park. Because also Broadway here crosses uh, Fifth Avenue too. This way is Broadway, that way is uh, Fifth Avenue. Left Broadway, right Fifth Avenue. Flat Iron District is also usually lively around the summer, um, along with Madison Square Park. A lot of commuters and New Yorkers, and this is not a good place to jaywalk, but I think I'm good. Yeah. <clears throat> and you'll see the atmosphere once it gets warmer, how there is a certain percentage of uh, tourists here, I would say, maybe more like 30%, 40% here, but it's a lot of New Yorkers when it's warmer. What's this decoration? I didn't see this yet. Let me see what this is. Greetings. What well, this is for? This is for spring, I guess. Um, I don't know why they decided to put greetings instead of like happy spring. There's usually a lot of tables around here, but um, not in the winter. So hopefully soon we start seeing that. Yo, what's up, Daryl? Just taking a picture of the Flatiron Building. A lot harder at night. <clears throat> Eight fifty four PM. <clears throat> oh, crap. I almost fell. Jeez. All right. I'm trying to figure out where to go now. Hey, oh, was he waving? I was like trying to gather my thoughts. Oh, what the heck is this?
flat iron building. What is today? Today is a Sunday. We always go to Washington Square Park. Let's go to uh, Union Square. Um, yeah, let's go to Union Square. Let's hope I don't regret it, but it'll, it'll probably be full of weirdos. Oh crap, Tyler might not be a bot. I think he might be a real person. He said something different this time. He said, sorry, I'm late. Wow. I'm always suspicious of Tyler. Can I zoom in? Let me try it, let me try it. I think I can do it. I think I can do it. Hold on guys. I got skills. All right. I did it. What's going on with the dog? Like the video guys, subscribe to the channel for more New York City walk content. Here's Cole Han on 20-something uh, street. These are more casual wingtips. These are all casual. Where's the dressy ones? <clears throat> Cole Han, I think is really good in terms of quality for the price. This is one of those guided tours. I think they cost a lot more because um, there's actually a person talking to them and tour guiding them while they go on their tour. Uh, usually it's not like that. Usually there's one of those audio things you hear. As you see, there's not as much steam coming out as the other days. Usually, if there's not a lot of steam coming out, you can assume that the buildings aren't using as much heat. So you'll notice the colder it is, the more steam is coming out the vents. That's because the buildings are using more heat. So the less steam you see, there's, a, I guess, an inverse correlation between how high the temperature is and how less steam there comes out. And the lower temperature it is, the more steam that you'll see come out of those um, pipes and sewers.
I know people are always like, yo, the Midtown me hitting. But look, Midtown is dead down here. Well, this, this is technically Midtown. We're getting closer to lower. But if it's dead here on Fifth Avenue, what do you think the, everything else is going to look like? Let's hope everything goes smoothly tomorrow. Let's hope I don't start buffering. Um, yeah, I don't really know what to expect. I mean, I can kind of predict and try to make predictions of certain obstacles that will be on my in my way, but uh, I'll have to problem solve as I go along. More than likely, I will buffer. There will be a lot of people outside. I predict buffering my ass off on Brooklyn Bridge. Well, I had no idea there's a Microsoft store here. Well, so Leanne, you can speak that language? No, you probably just used um, Google Translate, right? There's still war. This is like this in Queens, too. A lot of the roads in Queens, they're also working on the asphalt. Um, so, it usually doesn't go that way. And driving on those roads are a pain in the ass. <laughs> Google Translate gets in time, yeah. Yeah, even, uh, even if you tell them English only on in their language they seem to not care <clears throat> so in Fifth Avenue I think this is the border so if this says east because uh, that way is east that means that one should say West. Because I believe Fifth Avenue is the midpoint. Chicago, Illinois has the worst roads, really? Yeah, I got, I was gonna put the politics, no politics, religion yesterday, but I, you know, I had a tight schedule. Pretty much had to sleep, wake up, and come back to this, and then go back to sleep, come back tomorrow to wake up to do the eclipse. Um, but even if I put the no politics religion, I don't think it'll make much of a difference. People will do what they do. Uh, you know what's weird? I see some other 
streams where they have the floodgates open, i.e. they don't have subscriber mode only, and they seem to not have as many weirdos as I do. Um, yeah. I'm not sure why. I don't think too highly of myself, but they say that if they're always trying to bring you down, that means you might be doing something right. Or what's the other thing? If you have a lot of haters, then you must be doing something right. But I don't know. <laughs> I always feel weird when I come here because I feel like you guys want to see the liveliness. But I also think that um, it gives you guys a mental break too. Because when you guys watch a whole bunch of people and crowds and crazy stuff going on, you, uh, you also get exhausted. You know, I hate when they don't have streets on certain sides. It gets real confusing. I think pessimism is okay to a certain percentage, but your pessimism should never overtake your optimism because pessimism has its uh, benefits, a lot of overlooked benefits. And too much optimism can be delusional, but then there's also a case for delusional optimism I saw this chubby guy on YouTube, and he's like, I'm gonna be in a Nike commercial. I'm gonna envision it, and it's gonna happen. And believe it or not, it actually did happen. <laughs> and he did make a case for delusional optimism, uh, but then the thing is that the delusional optimist also forgets about the survivorship bias. Think about how many delusional optimists didn't make it. It seems like the delusions that didn't succeed, but they did. And also, I think when you have a little bit of pessimism, you are way more prepared. You know the survivorship bias. You know um, the obstacles ahead. You know how to prepare, as opposed to the one that is too much on the optimistic spectrum. So I put my money on the person that is mostly optimistic, but has some pessimism. Hit the like button, everybody. And that guy has like a boombox just uh, jamming to his music <laughs> in the cold weather. So uh, I'm afraid what's going to happen in the summer. <clears throat> Maybe I have to get an index card of all the uh, benefits of pessimism, but I think I'm 80% optimistic, 20% pessimistic. I think 30% and even to a point 40% might be necessary in terms of pessimism, but uh, it should never over overtake your optimism. That's the World Trade Center, I believe. We're getting close to Washington Square Park. That's probably where I'll end the live. I had a cap for a two, mo two hour mark, and I told myself that no matter where I'm close to, I'm gonna end at a two hour mark because I have to come back tomorrow. But since we're like only two blocks away from Washington Square Park, we'll just end the stream around there. If, there was, if I was any further away, I'd probably um, end the stream there.
That guy went through the red light. See that? That guy was going so slow, he had his chance to get through the light. But uh, I don't know why he was going so slow. <clears throat> Anyways, guys, don't forget to like the video. Subscribe to the channel for more New York City walking content. Uh, every time you like the video, it has an immediate effect on the reach of the channel. And um, you put me on the map every time you like the video. You increase the radius of my reach and help me bring in more of the audience. We're not done yet. We still have to go to Washington Square Park, which is like two blocks away. Because I can see the World Trade Center and you can kind of see the arch. <clears throat> Washington Square Park is also where Fifth Avenue terminates. I think it starts around 143rd, around Harlem. Tomorrow I'm probably going to be on around 1.45 or 2 p.m. Eastern. And I'm going to start at the Brooklyn Heights Promenade. With a view of the sun. And the... Uh, and the uh, what, buildings. The view. There are some of you that like the evening streams more than the afternoon streams. And there are some of you that like the afternoon more. Hey, what's up, huh? From New York? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, which way is it? Oh, 9th at 8th at. Oh, my bad. I thought you wanted to be on the stream. <laughs> oh, 8th at. It's all good. 8th at. Um, yeah, so if you go, this is north. So when you go east, that's more avenues down. When you go west, it's more avenues up. So, this so, okay. so that way is uh, that way is it, yeah. And that's north. When you go north, uh, the streets go up. When you go south, the streets go down. So Yeah. Oh no, this is streets. But you want the avenues, which is uh, west. Twenty-first and eighth. Twenty-first and eighth. Eighth Avenue. You want to go left. You want to go west. And you want the streets to increase. You go north. So you go that way. The streets increase. And then you go left. The avenues increase. So yeah, no problem. Have a good one. <clears throat> All right, my bad, that guy needed help. I thought, I thought he wanted to be on the stream. He's like, you from New York? Oh man, I messed that guy up. I should have. I messed the bus driver up. Okay, wait, what happened? I wonder. I saw this live streamer in Moscow, Russia, Russia today, and this guy fell down subway stairs and cracked his head open with a puddle of blood. And people walked around him and some called the ambulance. I think there's also another Asian country that does something. I don't want to say they do something similar, but like when something happens, I don't know, it's just people seem to not really do anything or pay attention or they mind their own business. I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure if it's a social conditioning, but I don't know.
I don't want to judge or anything, but uh, I have to get the whole context. Here we are in Washington Square Park where it's dead in the winter. It's dead in the winter. It's always dead in the winter here. Man, that guy is going fast. Mm, all right. I was trying to explain to him the streets go up and then to the left the avenues go up. Wait, oh you're right, cherry blossoms. Thanks for letting me know because uh, I would have missed it. Wow, it looks so nice. It looks a lot nicer on the screen, believe it or not. I think the light helps. Let me try to zoom in. Wow, these look so nice. This is like peak, peak bloom, right? I'm not too experienced on these, but wow, I've never seen it like this. Wow, these are like peak, peak bloom. I've seen people go through the chain. I don't know if we're allowed to, but um. Those are magnolias. I remember seeing the magnolias in Central Park. They look really nice. Let's get one more look. Oh yeah, I gotta go to Roosevelt Island. I gotta come back here. Uh, but by the time I come back, they probably because <laughs> I, I can't come back here tomorrow. Tomorrow is a different plan. Uh, so let's just uh, hang around here for five, 10 minutes and then uh, end the stream. Like the video guys. Subscribe to the channel for more New York City walking content. Usually they're skateboarding over there. Did they turn on the fountain? I doubt it, it's too cold. Oh yeah, I also want to show you guys, because uh, we went to Dragon Fest yesterday. Um, and um, they're going to have the next one on 420, which is uh, an interesting day. And Washington Square Park will, prob will probably be a cloud of smoke. Washington Square Park. I don't know if my lungs will survive on 420 in Washington Square Park. There's some trees here, but I think these are white. Oh man, these look nice too. Uh, I'm neutral. I mean, um, I don't, I don't smoke, but um, it will be interesting to 
see what's going on at Washington Square Park on uh, 420. And also, uh, let me show you. So I went to Dragon Fest yesterday, if you guys remember. So these are all the dates. Uh, next one's at 426th Avenue, 29th Street, 31st Street. Uh, I think ne next time I'll link it. I'll link it in the description when I get home for the website. But um, that's all the Dragon Fest that's going to happen this year. And I'll try to go to all of them. And um, guys i think i'm gonna end the stream i'll see you guys tomorrow i gotta go home and uh, get home and go to bed uh, i'll see you guys tomorrow around 2 p.m have a good night like the video subscribe to the channel for more new york city walking content and i'll see you tomorrow Peace out.